So I'm, I'm John Tehorn and I'm a um, Vice Chancellor's Research Fellow at the moment up at the University of Southern Queensland. Um, I started my interest in astronomy when I was about knee high, when I was five years old. So I followed that through, I joined my local astronomical society at about the age of eight, which is something I'd encourage anybody who has any interest in astronomy whatsoever to do. So I'll be talking in this presentation about the work I've been doing for the last few years since I moved here to Australia back in 2010. And essentially what I'm talking about is testing planetary systems to destruction, crash testing planets. So as you'll see in the little demonstrations that we do, the way we find planets around other stars is actually, with a very small number of exceptions, indirectly. What I mean by that is that rather than seeing the planets themselves, we're seeing their effect on something else. We're watching a star do something that's unexpected and inferring from that unexpected behaviour that there must be planets. Now, being scientists, we can't just say, well, this star's doing something strange, there must be planets. We've got to instead try and strengthen that argument by ruling out all the other possibilities. And a lot of work goes on to proving that, for example, it isn't star spots on the star, like the sunspots we see on the sun, that are giving this periodic behaviour. But it is truly something that can only be explained by planets. And that's where I come in. So I'm mainly a theoretician. I, I use a computer programme that's like a solar system in a box. You put in the planets that you think are there, you let them run forward in time and you see how they interact with each other. In some cases, we find systems that simply don't work. And I'll talk about these in the talk and what they're telling us. But the essential take home message is that not every star that wobbles, not every star that blinks, has planets causing that wobble or causing that blink. Or maybe there's more to the system than we can only know.